Tiny homes come in all shapes and sizes. Some of them have wheels, Some of them don't. Some of them are shaped like a rectangle and some of them are round. Some are teeny tiny and some take up all 400 square feet, which is the maximum square footage of a tiny home. This tiny home has a loft where you can put your bed and that way you have more space down below. And there are choices on how to get up to the loft. Do you choose stairs? Which can double as storage for your clothing and other household items. Would a ladder be better to get up to the loft? Some people choose to have their bed on the ground floor and in some cases, change the couch into their bed. This tiny home has a bigger kitchen and others have small and cozy ones. Some are designed to look modern or minimalist and others are more intricate. This tiny home makes use of the outside with an entryway porch. Design elements like this help expand the usable living space to more than what's just inside the home. One thing the best ones have in common is they were well designed to make the most use of every single little space they have. My name is Ellen Stone and I am one of the instructors of the Sally Ride Science Tiny House Mini Architecture class. In this video, we will take the first few steps in the tiny home design process so that you can develop your ideas and bring your tiny dreams into reality. Step one is to imagine your tiny house. To do so, please close your eyes and sit still. Begin to think about all the different aspects of the home. Is it square? Is it round? Is it on wheels or perhaps sitting firmly on the ground? Do you have a loft in your tiny home? Or do you like everything on one level? Perhaps if you are keeping everything to one level, you have a bed that can transform from a couch or even come down from the ceiling. Is your kitchen small, tucked into the corner of your tiny house? Or is it larger, taking up more space? That's something you might consider if you are someone who likes to bake or cook. That's the thing with tiny homes, is you can design them to fit whichever things are most important to you. And now think about the outside of your tiny home. The design of the building itself. Is it simple in its shape? Sometimes people call this modern or minimalist architecture. How about the outdoors? Do you have a deck or maybe a garden? A little patio where you can put table and chairs. This is a way to expand the space for
for yourself and make the tiny home feel bigger to fit your needs. Go ahead and open your eyes and get yourself a piece of paper and a pencil or pen. We are now at step two, the writing portion of this exercise. Once you're seated with your pencil and paper, Start to write down all the different things you thought of when you were picturing your tiny home. No need to make it longhand or story-like. Feel free to just make it a list if that's easier for you. So we'll do this pretty quick and just take the next minute or two to write everything down. Again, no need to be perfect with this. Just get as much of the information that you thought about down on a piece of paper so that you can refer back to it when we're drawing. We are now at step three where we will draw our tiny home. Now let's get out another piece of paper and we will begin drawing the outline of our tiny home as if we are looking at it from up above. We don't need to worry about sketching perfectly. This is just a rough draft where we can get our ideas out on the page. Let's begin by drawing the outside walls of your tiny home. Did you decide you'd like your tiny home to be a rectangle? If so, draw the shape of a rectangle on your piece of paper. If you decided you'd like it to be a square or a circle, draw either of those. Just a note, if you want a tiny home on wheels, that would be the rectangle. If you're drawing a tiny home on wheels with a loft, Make sure to draw two rectangles. One will be your ground floor and the other will be your loft. We can begin filling in the inside of our tiny home, where the bed will be, where the kitchen and bathroom will be. Again, this doesn't need to be perfect. You're just sketching out your ideas. And now some sketching music.
This concludes the activities of imagining, writing, and drawing out your tiny home designs. In our next few videos, you'll learn how to create a small, tiny home made out of paper and other materials found in your home. For now, please enjoy these pictures of tiny homes like the one you will be creating.